Are you ready for the Genesis X convertible? Well, if you are, make sure to like and subscribe as you're entering the video and let's get started. This is gonna be an electric vehicle concept. They actually came out with a trilogy and this is the last one. So they had a X coupe and then they had like an X coupe with like a slightly more squared off, almost like that wagon look in the rear. And then now we have this convertible, hardtop convertible concept car. I'm digging it. I really love the way that it looks. The, the exterior, it has like this minimalistic interior space, but really it's the, it's the exterior that's extremely captivating. I mean, it's obviously very Bentley-esque and they do have Bentley designers working at Genesis now and those design cues are certainly showing. That's not a bad thing, but would I rock this? That's a hard question because honestly, I have a strange relationship with the convertible vehicle. However, they're not a bad purchase because I was looking on the Lease Hacker forum and convertible cars have insanely good residual value apparently. Like the demand for them has shot up. So if you currently own a new-ish convertible car, you can actually sell that for some pretty decent money. But for me personally, if I'm gonna be buying a convertible car, it has to be a hardtop like this Genesis X concept car. So that's a check for me. But also, you know, an electric car isn't my ideal choice for a convertible. The reason why I would personally get one is to hear a fire breathing engine, of course, you know, a V8, V12, things of that nature. And there's not really that many hardtop convertible cars out there that fulfill this. You have the SL63 and 65 AMG from the previous generation. They made that until what, 2017, 2018. And then you have like the Ferrari California. And I guess there is the C8 Corvette uh, that can be had as that hardtop convertible. And then you have the supercars like the McLarens and some of the Ferrari cars, totally out of the budget and irrelevant for me at this point. But um, yeah, there is the Corvette. Not a huge fan of it, but I have heard that the 2021s and up, they do drive a little bit better. Uh, but this is an EV. That means there's no noise. This is really like a luxury car, honestly. Think of it like a Bentley Continental two-door convertible or a lot of the Mercedes cars, right? Mercedes has a convertible version of literally all of their cars, uh, except their soft top convertibles. But here we have this hard top. It's a flagship product, uh, very G90-esque. And I'm, I'm liking the interior of this as well. It's very simplistic and it has like this wraparound screen, if you will. It's cool. I guess you just take that that solution that you spray onto like a tablet or a cell phone to, to wipe off any fingerprints. I guess you just keep that in your glove box of the Genesis X and just wipe down that center console area, I guess, <laughs> once you get a bunch of fingerprints on it. But no, it looks stunning, but it's just like, it's not gonna make any noise. It's just something that you cruise around in and I've driven several convertible cars now at this point and it loses its luster for me very quickly. Like I drove an Audi A5 convertible and I mean, it's cool. I get that there's different people out there. For me, uh, the A5 didn't do it for me because it just has a freaking four cylinder turbo engine. That's not far off from just being a full EV, honestly, it makes no noise. Uh, but some people, they don't care what car it is. Like it can be a Volkswagen Beetle as long as they can take the top off of it. That's all they care about. So there's a lot of people like that that don't care about performance or noise. And if that's you, well, this is going to be amazing if obviously you have a higher income because this is going to be over six figures guaranteed if they do decide to make it. The biggest thing for me that it has going on is the fact that it's that hard top with that transparent moon roof. So if you like cars like the S-Class convertible, you know, the previous generation, you know, the Bentleys, the Rolls's, then this can be a pretty good option for you because this is going to be an opulent flagship experience is going to ride amazing but will they actually make this who knows right it's still just a concept car if they actually made this it would probably sell between 20 to 50 units per month in the united states because the regular people and the wealthy people have spoken in this country they want pickup trucks and suvs <laughs> that's where their money goes into uh, as far as automobiles goes, because 70% of all new cars sold in the United States is in fact a truck or an SUV. So there's very little marketplace for something like this. I mean, 
is the economies of scale going to work out for them with a car like this? Will they even profit? I don't know. Uh, you have a few cars like the LC500, of course. I would have been all over the convertible model if it came with a hardtop similar to this, but that's not the case. And who knows, if they actually decided to make this car, they might even just go with a soft top for manufacturing purposes and to keep the cost down when they do decide to build it. Also, this car, for me to consider it, it would need to be producing 1,000 to 1,500 horsepower for me to even consider this car. I literally need this to be a hybrid car. Uh, why? Because that's the only fun left in an electric car. And somebody was asking me about speed limits. I told them I don't know what those are. But for me, yeah, I need like well over a thousand horsepower with this uh, because that neck breaking speed, that's the only thing that makes an electric car, you know, fun, honestly, because I do like electric cars. I'm not an, I'm not an EV hater. It's just we don't have the infrastructure, the grid or anything like that to support this stuff yet. Uh, but I do like an ultra smooth EV. It's just that I don't necessarily need to have it in a coupe or convertible fashion. I think a flagship sedan or SUV would do just fine with an EV battery pack, but this looks so cool that I guess I would give it a chance if I had money. We have things like the new Maserati Gran Turismo coupe that got unveiled and it should be making around 1200 horsepower. Uh, Lexus has that LFR thing coming out and that's going to be more like a hypercar legit performance car this is more so of a grand tour and grand touring is fine i just need that 1500 horsepower and i should be good to go with that and i would give this a chance at that point but um yeah pretty stunning looking car that simplistic interior space that's cool i don't mind it but more importantly leave your thoughts down below in the comment section if they built this would you buy it i would like to know your thoughts in the comment section below Thanks again for watching. I'll have the next video on the end screen here and I'll see you there.